Well, this is shape shifting part two. You know what's fun is when you're right in the middle of a live video, like literally the middle, and you hit the finish button instead of the turn the screen around button. It's a whole lot of fun. I'm gonna give everybody just a second to hop back on here. Sorry about that, guys. So, if you have not watched part one, please watch part one. I don't think I've ever done that before. All the lives I've ever done, so whatever. Whatever! Okay, so I am gonna show you guys some of the props. I'm gonna hit the right button this time. <laughs> um, in my office uh, on how I get myself going. Um, get myself ready to go live on these videos, okay? So let me, let me turn it around this time and not hit finish. <laughs> okay. Okay, first things first. First things first, I have this picture of my CEO like, like, here's my stand. I put my phone in my stand. But next to my, like, here's my stand, y'all. Okay? So, while I'm looking at my phone, I can see my CEO's picture right there. Like, what would Holton do? Dude, what would he do? Okay. So, next thing is, uh, you know, I have all my setup here of my lights and everything. So, literally, just before I started this video, I listened to um, Invincible by Skillet which gets me um, feeling invincible. So there's another one of my triggers. That's another, y'all, I've told y'all over and over and over that I always dance or listen to music. Um, helps get me in the right space, okay? Then I listen to that music, I scream it out, I blast it in here, and then I have this whiteboard that's right next to my door that I go over all, I say, I, I yell this all out loud. So these are the statements that I say, the I am statements, and then I say these statements. So you can take a screenshot if you want. I think I have a misspelled word. Yeah, I misspelled persuasion down there, but anyway, give me some grace. All right, so those are my triggers. That's what I personally use as triggers or props. A lot of people don't like the word trigger, but whatever. Whatever, use whatever you want to. But I've developed a ritual that I do that gets me in the right space because you know, tired Liz or depressed Liz or anxious Liz won't get it done, okay? So I have to get myself in the space. And guys, I am not faking it. I'm just becoming a better version of myself so that I can deliver what I need to deliver. So that person is in you. You just have to create the atmosphere and the surroundings to bring that person out, okay? Do you think Oprah, who did her interviews on live TV, was the same Oprah at home with Stedman? Nope. So, guys, you can choose. Here's the thing. You can choose to be whatever, not whoever, because you're, all, you're the same person. We're not multiple personalities here. You, all, you will still be the same person. You can choose to be whatever you want to be to be successful. So the question is, can you create an alter ego that can help you get that job done? Can you create some triggers or props and some rituals that will help put you in that space? I think you can. I absolutely think you can. So especially those of you, like I said in part one, irritating, um, especially those of you who are like me and are an introvert, you can step out of that introvert role and step into whatever role you want to be, whoever you want to be, whatever you want to be. Oh, let me tell you what another one of my triggers is for the last seven months, and it kind of accidentally became a trigger. It's my gray streak of hair, okay? So I kind of decided to do that because it was, I got tired of having to color it all the time. I mean, like that's natural. I have grays all over, but I have a, you know, a big streak right here. And so many people started giving me feedback that they loved my gray streak. And then I went to a training in Atlanta and I had so many people that came up to me and said, Liz, I watch your videos. I recognize you from your hair. And I was like, that's my, that's my thing. 
that's going to be my thing for growing this business is my trademark hair. That's how people recognize me. They remember me. It's a trigger. Oh, that's Liz. So triggers can be anything, guys. Um, it just get creative with it. Um, Mr. Herman in his in the interview talks about one of his clients. Um, where may uh, Wonder Woman is her alter ego, and she like had a Wonder Woman bracelet that she would snap and pop whenever um, she needed to go perform. So it could it could be anything. It could be a necklace. It can be a headband. He that Todd Herman wears fake glasses, so he puts on glasses. And that's how, that's before he does any kind of speaking engagement or anything. That's his physical trigger that he, when he puts on his glasses. And when he first started doing that, they were fake, you know, they're fake glasses. They're just not, they're not prescription glasses. Um, okay, so here's, here's the takeaway. You must take responsibility for what you want to become. Take responsibility for what you want to become and act as if it has already happened. And you act as if you do that by creating that um, alter ego. Okay? Pretty simple. It, it sounds a little hokey, but if you think about it, every single person I know that creates amazing live videos or, or, or recorded videos, every single one of them, I'm, without exception, is an introvert. Every one of them, every single one of them. So they are doing this. They're just maybe subconsciously doing it, um, but they, they they have they have cre I guarantee you they've created these triggers and they've created this persona that is able to do what their introvert personality would not be able to do. So ruminate on this and think about it and let me know what you think. And if you create an alter ego, give me a shout out the first time you go live. Love you guys. Go do it.